Today I'm going to show you how to build a runtime for a recent blog post of ours on how to build a trading bot with Python. Now the post has all the Python code, so we'll be using the ActiveState platform to build a custom runtime for it. The custom runtime is going to have a version of Python and just the packages we need for the project. Now I've already logged into the platform and I'm on my dashboard, so the easiest way to create a custom runtime from here is just to click the Set Up a New Runtime button. Now that will bring me to a wizard-like interface that allows me to choose a language. We'll stick with Python. It allows me to click the Build Your Own. That's to make our custom runtime. And then all I need to do is enter a name for this project, something like Trading Bot. And then I can select a Python version. I'm going to stick with the default 366. And since this is going to be cross-platform and publicly available, because the blog post is also publicly available, I can select those default values and click Create Runtime to continue and configure this runtime. Now once that loads up, I'm brought to the configuration page where I can see that this is indeed set for Python 3.6.6. It has all the platforms I asked for. And since this is just Python 3.6.6, it's already pulled in 11 dependencies. So you can see a few of the dependencies here. If I scroll down. And I'm going to choose to add some more packages at this point. Now if this was a complex project, I could go ahead and import my requirements.txt file and then just sort of copy and paste the contents here. But since this is pretty simple, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the packages. Now I know I need two of them. One of them is called Robinstocks, and that provides functions for interfacing with the APIs of the Robinhood trading platform. And the other one I need is just Pandas. Go ahead and search for that. And then I'll add that as well. So those are the two packages I need. And the ActiveState platform, when it pulls them in, will figure out what version I should be using. And it'll also figure out all the dependencies. So you can see here, we've gone from 11 to 28 total dependencies, 17 changes just by adding two packages to this runtime. Now, the ActiveState platform has thought that Pandas 1.01 would be best for this project. I'm going to cheat a little bit because I know that version won't actually build properly. Uh, the version that I want to use is 0.24. So I can go ahead and change that. And now the platform is going to uh, reassess what dependency 0.24 requires and then update the dependency list for me. Now I also know that one of the key requirements of Pandas is NumPy. And it's telling me I need version 118. That's not going to build either for 0.24. Again, I'm cheating a little bit here because I know beforehand. But what I can do here is choose version manually. And that's going to pop it up to the top here and allow me to change the version. And I'm going to choose 116.2. Now, that combination, I've already done some fiddling. There's a bunch of trial and error here at this point in time. Not all packages will build for all operating systems at all points in time. So you have to do a little bit of trial and error. I've already done that. So I know that Pandas 0.24, NumPy 116.2, we should be good to go. So now that I've got everything set, all I need to do is press the Commit Changes button. The platform will give it a final look. It'll do a final assessment. And if everything's good, we should be able to kick off the build by clicking the View Status button. And there we go. The Mac build has already started. We've got a Windows 10 that's going to, in progress, is starting to build as well, and a Linux build that's going to start off as well. So this is going to take a few minutes, and we'll tune back and see how it's working. All right, our builds have finished. Now we can see what the package status is. I can scroll through the list of all the packages that were built. And I can also go ahead and just download the PKG for our Mac build. Under Windows, I can download the MSI. Or under Linux, I can just grab the tarball. So that completes our demo.